I feel relieved today that I finally have the opportunity to, for hopefully getting some sleep. Uh, a lot of days that I, I prayed and I hoped and I was speaking everything into existence. I said, I have faith that he will be convicted. It's been a long journey. And it's been less than a year. And the person that comes to my mind is 1955. And to me, he was the first George Floyd. That was, that was Emma Till. Wow. Wow. I did, uh, was on CNN with Deborah Watts, and she just brought him back to life. Wow. People forgot about him. Yeah. But he was the first George Floyd. Yeah. But today, you have the cameras all around the world to see and show what happened to my brother. It was a motion picture. The world seen his life being extinguished. And I could do nothing but watch. Especially in that courtroom over and over and over again as my brother was murdered. Times, they're getting harder every day. Ten miles away from here, Mr. Wright, Dante Wright. That's right. Yeah. He should still be here. We have to always understand that we have to march. We will have to do this for life. We have to protest because it seems like this is a never ending cycle. Yeah. Yeah. Reverend Al always told me, we got to keep fighting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put up a fight every day because I'm not just fighting for George anymore. I'm fighting for everybody around this world. Yeah. I get calls, I get DMs, people from Brazil, from Ghana, from Germany, everybody, London, Italy, they're all saying the same thing. We won't be able to breathe until you're able to breathe. Oh, that's right. Today, we are able to breathe again. Miss oh, yeah. yeah. Ghana, I told you, we'll get justice. Yeah. And we still, we're gonna fight for you too. We're going to fight for everybody. Thank you all so much for just giving us this time because we're here and we're not going anywhere. And I want to thank all the protesters, all the attorneys who stepped up, all the activists who stepped up, and many who think they're not activists but advocates. Thank you all. Amen. Because justice for George means freedom for all.